I'm starting something new. I, I've noticed that when I sit down at my computer, I get leg cramps and back aches and everything. So now I'm, I have a standing computer. What I did is I created my own, like I, I have the monitor very high, so it's at um, almost at face level as I'm standing. And um, I, I do sit every now and then to give my feet a break. But I've set up my computer terminal so that I can type on the keyboard standing up. So I'm actually um, composing and writing my book standing up. Uh, I do have some very important news to report. Um, I haven't heard from my men through Skype, which would, is my usual way of getting news since March. I believe that there's a very important legal case going on right now and uh, regarding the Gale Shield and the Jesuits uh, feel that I need to be brought in for like psychiatric evaluation so that they can operate on me and weaken the shield. And my men, of course, are having nothing to do with this. And apparently in the court case, uh, the, my men are proving that I'm not crazy. And in order to not um, contaminate the evidence, they can't communicate with me because the Jesuits could claim that my men told me what to say. So that's I believe that's why I haven't heard from them. Um, but the brain-to-brain -brain communication seems to have improved because of the Gale Shield, and I seem to be getting less interference from Zach Knight. And let me tell you the latest. First, I have some sad news to report, which I've heard brain-to-brain, -brain, which I believe is correct, and that Hillary Clinton has been murdered and replaced with her Jesuit clone. Uh, I believe that this is a correct brain-to-brain -brain communication because she has chosen a Jesuit for her vice president, Tim Kaine, as most of you probably already know, he is a Jesuit, and um, I don't believe the real Hillary Clinton would have chosen a Jesuit for her vice president. I'm not sure what the Jesuits think they're going to accomplish by doing this. Uh, I'm, maybe they think that by having Tim Kaine as vice president, it'll help them to stay alive underneath the Gale Shield because, you know, anyways, for that reason, I've really, I used to support Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump both, and I was kind of neutral about the election. But now that she has chosen a Jesuit for a vice president, I oppose her. And, and the sad news is I've, I've been watching the Democratic National Convention, and I can tell. The first day it, it appeared that Bernie Sanders was being extorted into endorsing Hillary Clinton, when I looked at him, he looked really tired and nervous, like um, like the Jesuits had put a gun to his head and wrote his speech and told him exactly what to say. And they probably threatened to harm him and or his family if he wouldn't agree to their agenda. So I think that explains Bernie Sanders' endorsement of Hillary Clinton. And most of the speeches looked like they were written by Zach Knight himself. And... Um, Hillary Clinton, this new Hillary Clinton that I'm seeing is a disaster. You may say, well, what about Benghazi and all that stuff? Well, I believe that the Benghazi incident was done by the Hillary Clinton Jesuit clone. Hillary Clinton, like all politicians, has to deal with Jesuit clones. And she's been trying to promote a righteous government and... I guess the Jesuits were looking at this current election cycle and decided that they could possibly win the presidency through Hillary Clinton, but they knew that Hillary, the real Hillary did not support them, so they had to murder her. I think I actually heard from her from heaven. Every now and then, Jesus will allow people, saints in heaven, to talk to me. And she seemed to tell me that she said, Gail, yes, Gail, I was stabbed. It was horrible. She says, but I'm in heaven now, and it's really so awesome here. I have no desire to return. But I would like to say this, that book that you're writing right now on the, on the secret history of the Jesuits is a very important book. And I'm mentioning Hillary in the book and showing how history is repeating itself right now in this presidential campaign where the Je Jesuit Hillary Clinton clone is running. Um, Jesuits are always very interested in politics because their goal is worldwide domination for the Catholic Church. And they, they haven't changed. 
the way they were in the 1500s and the 1600s during the Inquisition it is how they are today. The only thing that's changed are their methods. Their motives are the same. They still desire world control. And you guys really need to check out my fit, Twitter and Facebook pages because I'm actually, and I'm going to have a link underneath this video that'll show you some samples of my next book. I was working on a book about my Japanese ancestors, but when I learned that Hillary Clinton was murdered and that the Hillary Clinton clone is running for president right now, actually under my conspiracy law, she's not eligible to run because no, I'm the American Empress and under my conspiracy law, no Jesuit can hold public office. So um, she's not even eligible to run now that she's a Jesuit, now that the Jesuit clone. And I've been watching the DNC and like yesterday, it looked like there were, there was a, it looked like there was a Bill Clinton Jesuit clone, a Bernie Sanders Jesuit clone out in the audience. And let me just tell you what I think is happening, judging by what I've heard brain to brain. Um, I believe that my men have sacked Hil Hillary and her Jesuit cohort, Tim Kaine. Okay, so um, what I've heard brain to brain is that what they're going to do is that during the election, because she's a Jesuit and not eligible to be president, if you vote for Hillary, you're actually going to be voting for Bernie Sanders. So that's what my men are going to do. But my men believe that it's probably better. My hair keeps falling on my face. I, this is my own haircut, by the way. I'm letting it grow out, which I think, you know, I'm doing pretty good. Jesus told me no beautician. So um, I've heard that um, Bernie Sanders has taken Hillary Clinton's place. But you're not going to hear about this except on the Gabriel Chana Fox News Channel, which is zero zero on cable. And um, so if she does win the presidency, it will actually be Bernie Sanders who will get her job. And he's chosen, oh, I forget her name, for his vice president. Somebody that Hillary Clinton was going to choose for vice president. I can't, I can't remember her name. It was a lady that he recommended for Hillary's VP pick, and I can't remember her name right now. Um, I will be voting for Donald Trump simply because the Jesuits hate him so much, and you can tell by the way the Jesuit news is attacking him. So I will be voting for Donald Trump. I asked um, Brent Spiner, brain to brain, how he feels about this. He says, I prefer to stay out of the elections, Gail, but I would like to say that I don't have a problem with you voting for Donald Trump. That's the real Brent Spiner. The Brent Spiner clone has completely taken over uh, Brent Spiner's Twitter. It looks like all the clones of the, of the famous men on my marriage list have completely taken over their online presence. You have to remember that Satan invented electricity computer computers and the internet and therefore that that's his turf. Zach Knight is his right hand man. Zach Knight meets with Satan at least once a week, and apparently, um, my my Gale Shield seems to be doing a little damage to that turf. But I don't know if Jesus would want his to totally take it over because then it would make it appear like Jesus endorses computer technology, which he does not. So he may allow Zach Knight to retain a lot of his control over the internet. So. I'm just warning you, the only place where you're going to get accurate news is the Gabriel Chana News Channel. Any, any place else, you're going to be looking at one of Zack Knight's clone versions of the internet, which is all lies. Like, you could, if you do a search for Brent Spiner's wife on the internet, it says it's Lori McBride. Uh, he's never had willing and knowing sex with Lori McBride. Uh, when, it, when he's had it, he thought he was, he thought he was going into me. He was, and Jesuits are like that. In fact, I started a book called Jesuit Empire's Secret History, and in that book, I'm showing how history is repeating itself. And I think that actually I hear thousands of books have been written about Jesuits, but Jesuits have banned these books. They, they, they do not believe in freedom of the press, freedom of speech. They try to control the educational systems of the countries they take over so that you only hear the Jesuit version or you only learn the Jesuit version of history. My goal in writing this book, and I got a lot of my information from this book here. This is an excellent resource and he's got all sorts of documentation. So this is not just, he's got 
quotes from famous politicians, from world leaders. They murdered this writer, by the way. This was put out by Chick Publications. The only problem with this book is that it's very cumbersome reading because the writing is horrible. It's a horrible translation from the French. This was written in the French language. The translation is absolutely terrible. It's confusing, hard to read. So what I've done is basically taken this book and rewrote it with, with updates to how the history applies to present time and put it into modern day English, easy. I, I'm a writer, okay? The big problem with this book is just about every other sentence is written in the passive tense. Anybody who's a writer knows that is the absolute worst tense to use in writing. Writing should use the active tense. So I've tra uh, transposed a lot of the sentences from the passive to the active tense. I've also any, um, and, and the uh, writing is way too wordy. Um, good writing is concise to the point and active tense. They do use a lot of adjectives and adverbs. Um, some of them are quite effective, so I'm going to leave them in. I actually actually used my thesaurus and went and changed some of the uh, adjectives and adverbs to a more effective and accurate word, which makes the writing more powerful. So uh, what I've done is revamped this book, improved the writing. I actually read this to Brent Spiner on, on my wiretap phone in 2000, the whole book. But I'm not sure if he got it. The Jesuits may have tampered with my wiretap. But I think the world needs to know the information that's in this book. And um, it's factual. It's the true history of the Jesuits. It starts off talking about Ignatius de Loyola, what motivated him to become a Jesuit, and how he set up the order. It's actually a criminal organization who will do who will do anything and everything to set up power for the uh, Roman Catholic Church. And um, just go ahead and check the sample underneath this. I also heard from Barack Obama from heaven, I believe. And he said, Gail, you have to write that book. My legacy has been ruined. And um, as you know, Gail, and Hillary said, there were so many things I wanted to do for the United States, and that's been trashed now that they've murdered me. And she said, Hillary, the Hillary from heaven actually encouraged me to vote for Donald Trump. She said, I do not want my clone to become president because it will trash everything that I believed in, that I read, the reason I wanted to become president. So the real Hillary in heaven seemed to ask me to vote for Donald Trump just to try to keep her clone from ruining her legacy. And Barack Obama in heaven is upset because his legacy has been ruined by the Barack Obama automaton. Jesus gave us a Barack Obama automaton when Barack Obama was murdered in 2012. But the Jesuits have messed with that automaton and he's basically... About half the times he does what the Jesuits want now. Jesuits can mess with anything that has to do with computer technology. So um, this is an update. Got to report sad news that I do believe. I believe the murder, Hillary was murdered about two weeks ago. And um, it seems like it's true because, I mean, look at the way she's behaving right now. Like a typical Jesuit. And she just... Anyways, you guys, check my Facebook page, my Twitter. I, I'm... I want to get this done by the end of August, the paperback and the Kindle. Then I hope to have an audiobook on my the improvement to this around October, right before the elections. And um, I am putting a lot of this out for free to the public in the sample because this this needs to go out now. People need to know this now because the information in this book will give you wisdom about how to handle the, the presidential election. So that's the update. I'm working very hard on this book. I've set a deadline. So I've, I try to have a goal to do so many pages every day. This book is very important. We must not let Hillary become president. She is a Jesuit. She's, if Hillary was murdered, it's her clone in her place right now.